Yeah, and same here. We're settling into this new reality uh, and feeling thankful that I have my budget in place and that I can really see my financial future clearly. You know, this is a really tough time for a lot of people. Um, and not just the people who have um, suddenly lost their jobs. And I really feel for those people in the different sectors of the economy who uh, have either been fired or lost their employment, uh, lost their revenue, uh, their way of making money. It's really, really challenging for a lot of people. 6.6 .6 million people filing for unemployment. Um, and hopefully uh, those people find a way to make some money again very, very soon. Um, but really glad that, um, uh, that, that I have things fairly locked down as you do, Paul. Um, so at least we can see a financial picture and see a path and the, the path we need to tread, even with some changes. Um, we know where we need to go. We need to know what we need to do. So that really lets, um, lets me sleep at night. Um, but the other thing that we've been doing, and Paul, you talked about this with the fire pit, is we're just also trying to make sure that we don't lose track of the emotional component of all of this. Um, and whether it's sitting around the new fire pit with the family or making sure we sit down for dinner every night, we're not letting, you know, the work from home creep throughout the entire house, that we kind of lock that down in place and say, okay, here we're doing work, here we're not doing work, here we're taking time to be a family, to talk, to laugh, to joke, because don't forget, see things through the eyes of your kids. They see you home all day. Yes, they know you're working, but you're home. And you know, I'm, I'm set up out here in the garage um, and my daughter will come out and she'll say, Dad, what time are you gonna be done? That, that's the big red flag, like, to, to just to remember, they don't see things the way you see things. And even if they say they understand it, they still have a slightly different uh, perspective on it. Um, just while we're, while we're going through the, uh, the introductions here, Paul, a huge shout out, and I know you agree with me here, to all the healthcare professionals who are busting their ass through this uh, and literally putting their lives on the line to take care of people who are all kinds of sick. They're dealing with all kind, manner of horror in hospitals across the country. Um, you know, I, I saw some terrible stories coming out of New York this week, um, and I can't imagine what those healthcare professionals, people in hospitals are going through. And while we're at it, a huge shout out to all those other essential workers, whether they're the garbage men or the mailmen or the janitors or anyone who has been historically told that they're perhaps not worth a certain amount of money to get paid. Boy, we're getting a new education on who's essential <laughs> right now, aren't we? Um, we'd, we'd be totally effed if these people weren't around. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all those people who continue to go to work, um, continue to do those jobs to let this, um, this society, the civilization that we have continue to function. Um, and, ju and just one last piece of advice here, turn off the news, please. Um, get your five minutes of news every morning, of course, you know, find out what's going on in the world, of course, but you know, and this is coming from the guy who works in the news business. Um, don't sit there and just fixate on, on all cable news all day and the latest story of this and that and the Turn it off. Go do something. Uh, obviously, if you're working from home, work from home. If you, you know, you don't have a huge workload while you're working at home or whatever you're doing, you know, go do something else creative. Um, I saw an intro, a funny Instagram post uh, earlier this week that said something to the effect of, you know, after we all come through this and you haven't developed that new hobby or side hustle or thing, passion project that you wanted to work on, um, you're going to figure out that you didn't have the time. You had the time. You just didn't have the discipline. Um, so, so go do something. If, if you're not, if you're not working from home, turn off the news, go be creative, go do something with your family. Um, you know, make sure that you pay attention to the emotional aspects of what's going on here.